Hello and welcome to this screencast in the Emacs Byte series. Uh, in this one we're going to talk about unit testing. Um, so unit testing is the process of writing a formal piece of code to test a uh, function. Now there's a unit testing system in Emacs called ERT. It's relatively recent and um, you know Emacs has, Emacs has been around for 30 years and people say well, what? how did you not have a unit testing thing before well because it's so easy to write unit testing in Lisp let's write a function my func and it's just going to have a variable um, and it's, it's going to do something very simple um, well we can just write some tests for my funk like this. Uh, so what's my funk? My funk is 14. Um, let's just test that a really big number doesn't break it. So you know there we've got a list of tests and we could package those up uh, into a, a bunch of things and you know when they go wrong we could report stuff so it's very very easy to make but nonetheless I've just been saying we could we could we could so ERT is there to do a lot of this boring stuff for you like um, reporting on what went wrong or um, you know, telling you how many tests passed and how long they took and that sort of thing so let's require it and write a test for my funk we can call the test whatever we like um, it doesn't have to be anything specific we can give it some help my funk with uh, 7 so we're expecting 14 now ERT also comes with some assertion macros so we should equal uh, 14 right so now how do we run that ERT that's all X ERT my funk test la 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 ERT makes a buffer and tells us how many tests passed, how many tests failed, what the totals were, how long the tests took, that it started then and finished then. And here's the test and it's green because it passed. Um, hopefully you can see that uh, if A is 2 then 2 times whatever we pass in which is 7 is 14. So normally the case. So um, what else do we know about the tests here? Well if you wanted to see individual timings you could hit T uh, and that tells you the time for a particular test. You can see that the granularity of the clock here is such that this test really didn't take very long at all. Um, H will explain the current test uh, so we've only really got one test and we know what that is right now so let's um, let's go build a second test and this one is going to take 10 so hopefully that would be 20 so now let's run ERT and the interesting thing about ERT is you can't complete tests here which you might have thought you would be able to but the reason for that is because that's not a um, structured input um, you ought to be able to put a regex in here so I can just say my funk dot star and then you can see it's run two tests this one is my funk 2 and this one is the original one my funk la 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 so if we do timings now, we can see that they were both run. 
and uh, there's one more thing that we can do which is L L to get a list of expressions that were tested so uh, you can see here that we only did one assertion in this test should equal my func 10 come out as 20 so equals 2020 20, and it's true um, and we can go and look at the other one I keep pressing the wrong key there uh, so my func 7 14 equal 14 14 that's good so that's all being done by the uh, should macro basically so one other interesting point about this is that if I delete this test and run ERT again oh dear we've still got two tests uh, that test is still there I thought I just deleted it well I haven't removed the test I've just deleted the text containing the test I have to actually go and delete the test um, so that's D, capital D, to delete the test, yes. Now if we rerun with capital R, um, we're back to having only one test. So because of that, while, um, while you're working code out, it's much more normal to do the original thing, this kind of behavior, and then package your tests up uh, when you're done into more formal things. So if you're doing test-driven development, for example, um, don't worry that you're not writing lots of ERTs um, because as long as you're doing this style and then converting them to ERTs, that's perfectly acceptable. Um, so there's a lot more about testing, various techniques you can use, mocking and so forth, and we'll cover those in a later episode. Thanks very much.